These look kind of like billiard balls, but not. Billiard balls. I guess, I don't even know um, what it is in this country, actually. <laughs> I don't know. Snooker, sorry, or snooker or snooker. Put up a shelf for all the Taskmaster's snooker balls, snooker, whatever. All the Taskmaster's snooker balls must be at the Taskmaster's eye line. Only the Taskmaster's snooker balls may be on the finished shelf. Fastest wins. Your time starts now. Put up a shelf. Yes, please. How tall is he? I'm not sure. He seems tall. Six foot. Six. I'm going to go and Google how, how tall he is. All right. Can I, have you got a phone? Yes. Can you Google for me? OK, tell me what to type in. How tall is Greg? T how, how tall is... Greg? <laughs> Greg Davies. How are we spelling that? How tall is Greg from Taskmaster? OK. <laughs> right. Morgana appears not to be 100% sure who I am. <laughs> I am now. Oh, good. Yeah. Desiree says snooker. <laughs> <laughs> not cooker. It's hard to know which British pronunciations of, you know, your language are the ones that you follow, because is it book? Let look, snook. Snooker's not a word. In any, <laughs> Snicker? In any land. <laughs> OK, fine. Snooker. What's first on our agenda? Move over, Handy Andy and Craig from Big Brother. Make way for Handy Morgandy and Victoria from Only Connect. Here we go. I don't... I'm... What? <laughs> you seem quite outraged. I don't know how you put up a shelf. A shelf? A shelf, please. Can I use a shelf that's already been made? Well, just move that. <laughs> Work with me, guys. Not that there. His eye line is going to be up there, isn't it? Is up. Nothing on there but the Taskmaster's balls. Shall I stop the clock? Stop. Thank you very much. Thanks, Victoria. Well, that doesn't work. Just a little bit of texture. Yeah. Okay, please. Oh, you're an arsehole! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why don't I just do it the other way round? be all right, you know. Yeah? If I don't hear anything drop, I reckon it means they've stayed up there. <sighs> Time stops. Is that it? I've stopped the clock. That'll do. Incredibly competent by Victoria. Mm -hmm. uh, found some shelves. Put the snooker balls on the shelf. Now, the only thing I would notice is it's a good job you are as short as you are, because in the opening seconds, you would have chopped your own head off. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That was the closest we've come to a serious injury on the show. Well, Garner, similar technique, find some shelves, bring them out, but then you added, smash the shelves to pieces. <laughs> <laughs> you turned it upside down, you called it an arsehole. Actually, I think it was a ball I was calling an arsehole. But ultimately, settled on the cushion system. Yes, and actually all that work did mean it was closer to your eye line, Greg. Yeah. Because Victoria's hey! was very quick. Oh. Victoria's was quick, but more sort of chin line. It was 71.5 centimetres. You are tall, aren't you? <laughs> Let's see how Alan and Desiree went about it. Here we go. What do I get to make the shelf out of? Whatever you want, Desiree. OK. I might need this. Have you got anything at six foot six tall? I'm six foot two. Put it on you. 
They're not going anywhere. Fastest wind. I know, I know. Come on. Six foot 180, right? OK. I mean, it's hard to believe that that's where his eyes are, but I think they probably are about there. This was the initial plan. Yeah. Sucker butt. OK. Are you still trying to say snooker ball? Yeah. <laughs> I think you could probably hang that up there. There's <laughs> a little gravity. <laughs> so I'm going to try and put it on something. It's a different strategy. Yeah. Ah, jeebus! I feel a shelf coming on. I can feel a shelf coming on. <laughs> OK. No one lost an eye. Do you want me to stop the clock? I think so. I'm doing this again. I think so. It's just the snooker balls and a little bit of soil on that shelf. So you want me to stop the clock? Yes, yes, I desperately want you to stop this clock. I right, stop the clock. <laughs> I like your shelf. <laughs> <laughs> what I love was the cock leg system. Yeah, it felt like um, this was cheating, but this was now in play. Did you forget where you'd put the table? <laughs> <laughs> I know that table's here somewhere. <laughs> I guess I'll have to estimate. <laughs> um, Alan, when you got the tray out, I thought, oh, OK, that's really clever, because the balls are contained. Of 100 ideas, that was the one good one. And then you attempted to turn it into some sort of cradle hanging <laughs> from the <laughs> fence. Then you just gave up and you just piled a load of rubbish up and stuck the balls on top. Yeah, it's getting dark. <laughs> I mean, Desiree's the only person who's entered into the spirit of this, really, in that she did attempt to build a shelf. No, I attempted to. <laughs> <laughs> Who's left? It's just Guz Khan left. Yes. Here we go. That's the cupboard door. What is the definition of a shelf? Definition of a shelf? Yeah. A flat length of wood or yeah. other rigid material attached to a wall or forming part of a piece of furniture that provides a surface for the storage or display of objects. <laughs> Technically, you said attached to a wall, right? Providing something is touching two surfaces. Technically, it's attached. It's quite a big shelf. You said a flat piece of wood, and you know what's going on above here? Flat piece of wood, that. <laughs> I'm just expecting more of a challenge to run through you. Alex, I'm going to go here for you, bro. I believe that's what you call a shelf with all the Taskmaster snooker balls on. Stop the talk. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah. You've got the definition of a shelf and you were happy with it. That was not just a door or a piece of wood. It had an accompanying rail of... You might call them coat hangers, yeah? It, but you can display any number of objects on those coat hangers, like pictures of your family and friends, G-strings, whatever you want. It's entirely up to you what you want to display up there. But of the many things you could display, <laughs> you went with pictures of your family and friends <laughs> or G-strings. <laughs> <laughs> so two sides of the pendulum, in it, like, just wherever you want up there, right? Yeah, yeah. And then on top of that, I believe there was a flat surface constructed of wood, which had all your balls very nicely displayed, and was also completely attached to the fence. Mm. So that was the result of what we had. I mean, he's absolutely captivating, isn't he? Mm. <laughs> we, we, we all saw with our own eyes, he just leaned a couple of things up against the fence and balanced some balls on it. Yeah, I'm totally drawn in by the man. <laughs> <laughs> so Desiree was the slowest, 19 minutes with the cock system. Morgana, 17 minutes. Alan, 13 minutes. Guz was seven minutes, but Victoria, just three minutes. Wow. Very speedy with her dragging the shelves. Yeah. But it was the lowest of the shelves, mm. the furthest from the eyes. Well, if you, if you penalise me for that, I, that's literally physical discrimination. So be it. <laughs> <laughs> so are you going to change the points at all for uh, eye levelness? Give them the five to one point according to speed, but then right. I think we should score it again according to... Eyeline height. Eyeline height. Eyeline then height. I think we should divide the scores by two. So your eyeline is 76 inches. Yep. Desiree's was 77. Then we have Alan's at 77.5. Morgana's was 78 inches. Then Guz's was at 73 inches. Victoria's 71 and a half, so she would just get the one point there. So... These four people all get three points because Morgana's was rounded up from two and a half. Lovely. This guy 
Alan Davies. He just put, piled a load of rubbish against the fence. <laughs> he, got, he got three and a half points, but we're rounding up to four points. He wins the task. Slash the fence! Four points. For more Taskmaster, subscribe now.